MPLS TE semi-dynamic tunnel using exclude address. In this video, I am going to talk about another method for configuring the pass option in MPLS traffic engineering. You know that in previous videos, we configured the traffic engineering tunnels with two options, with two pass options, ex explicit pass and also dynamic pass. Here, I am going to talk about the semi-dynamic pass option. The first things, the first question is that what is the semi-dynamic option for uh, configuring the pass option and what is the usage of this method? Let me to talk about that, but don't forget before starting uh, this video, uh, we have two type of semi-dynamic. Let me to talk about this. Look at here. You know that about the pass option, okay, pass option, we have uh, the first option is explicit method. We learned about this and also the second option is the dynamic method. And the third option is the semi-dynamic, okay? But let me to say that semi-dynamic has two type. The first is exclude address that I'm going to talk about that in this video. And also we have another type of semi-dynamic uh, semi method. We call it loose next stop. Look at here, loose next hop. Let me to talk about these two methods. But in this video, I'm going to talk about the exclude address. And in next video, I'm going to talk about the loose next stop. Here, we are talking about only the exclude address. What is the semi-dynamic uh, with the exclude address type? Let me to talk about this here. As you can see, we have a scenario and we have three paths from R1 to R7. For example, R1, then R2, then R3, then R7. Okay, he, this is the uh, first pass. Okay, after that we have two other paths. The second pass is from rotor six, 10, rotor one, rotor six, and then rotor seven. Okay, this is the next pass. And after that we have rotor one, rotor four, rotor five, and rotor seven. Okay, you know that we can configure explicit, met explicit uh, pass option. This means that the administrator uh, for him or herself should configure the can configure the tunnel pass for example it can say that i need to send the traffic of this tunnel from r1 r2 r3 to r7 okay and also we have dynamic pass uh, option this means that the uh, te automatically should select the pass of the tunnel for example in this scenario maybe the but the middle pass is the best pass because of that maybe choose the uh, for example r1 r6 r7 pass and also in some cases we need a thing between the explicit and dynamic okay uh, this means that this method is not exactly explicit pass option and is and also is not ex, uh, for example exactly the dynamic option let me to give you one example for example assume that we need to use uh, for example dynamic method this means that the te should select the best compatible pass and also we don't want to use the uh, for example middle pass this means that we need to use a dynamic method the dynamic method for be, uh, selecting the best pass for t tunnel but we don't want to using this pass here we have two rule first you should select the t should select the, the best pass dynamically but that pass should not be the middle pass here we have two uh, for example rule the first is dynamic selection and the second is explicitly we can say that please don't use the uh, the middle pass and as a result in some part of our order we have dynamic configuration and in some part we have one exclude or one explicit okay exclude rule here we have semi-dynamic because if you want to use the dynamic, you shouldn't say, you shouldn't give any order to the TE. You only you should say that, please select dynamically the, the best pass. But when you are saying that, please select dynamically the best pass, and also don't use 
don't select the pass from uh, from R1 to R6 to R7. This means that we have one explicit order. This explicit order type is exclude because of that we call it exclude address. This is the one of the forms of the semi dynamic tunnel. Semi dynamic means the uh, for example, some part is dynamic and some part is explicit. Okay, now we can understand the semi dynamic with type of exclude address, but we have another type of semi dynamic method. Okay, we call it next loose next stop. You will understand the loose next stop in the next video, but from uh, uh, for this time, I can say that again in the loose next stop we have some part of selection okay N dynamically some part some part of selection rule dynamically and another part is explicit you will learn about this but let me to say that why we call it semi dynamic not semi explicit because the main part of selection is dynamic okay this means that only you should say uh, for example please don't use this pass but Finally, the dynamic method should choose the best pass because of that we call it semi-dynamic, not semi-explicit. Okay, let me to talk about the usage of the semi-dynamic. Now, until now, we learned about the semi-dynamic exclude address concept. After that, we can, uh, for example, talk about the configuration and also the usage of the semi-dynamic tunnel within, uh, with, with the exclude address. Here we have a scenario. This is a, a scenario similar to one of the scenario I configured before. Because of that, I'm going to use the uh, configuration of that scenario. But only don't forget here, we need to uh, configure some, uh, for example, new commands or maybe removing some other commands. But this is so similar to the configuration of this scenario. I'm going to use it for faster configuration. And because we configured MPLS traffic engineering tun tunnels in a uh, five or six example, I'm not going to configure step by step. I'm going to configure, for example, all of the configuration of R1 at the time and then R2 and then R3. R3 but I'm not going to configure the tunnel interface. After configuring the all of the features in this scenario, I will configure the uh, tunnel interface with the, uh, for example, semi-dynamic method. It's so interesting. And finally, we can talk about the, for example, usage of the semi-dynamic. Okay, uh, starting from Rotor1. Here, Rotor1 has three interface. And also, uh, as you can see, uh, one loopback interface. Let me to configure three interface. Interface ETH00, interface ETH01, and then interface, uh, for example, ETH02. This is the interface ETH02. Let me to configure this three interface or reviewing the configuration. First, host name configured to R1. Also, I configured the traffic engineering globally. You know about this. After that, we have, you know that in this scenario, I'm going to use the ISIS with level two and area is 49 quad zero. Uh, look at your interface ETH00's IP address is, con is co uh, correct. And then I configured the ISIS on the ETH00. And also look at here, we have bandwidth statement. Here we can see the bandwidth is 500 kilobit per second because of that the bandwidth is okay. Then IP RSVP bandwidth configured, it's okay. And after that, MPLS traffic engineering tunnels configuration. And finally, no shutdown command. That's it. It's okay. Let me check interface inter uh, ETH01. About the ETH01, this interface, we need to change the IP address to 10161 255 it's okay then isis configuration after that the bandwidth should be configured with bandwidth thousand that's it and also ip rsvp bandwidth thousand thousand mpls traffic engineering tunnels and no shutdown it's okay now we can configure the eth02 the ip address of the eth02 is 10141 255 255 250 ip rotor isis isis network point point and then the bandwidth is 300 Okay, then IP RSVP bandwidth 300, 300. If you want, you can configure only IP RSVP bandwidth. And then MPLS traffic engineering tunnels, it's okay and no shutdown. This is the configuration of three interfaces in the rotor one. We have also interface loopback zero, and also I enabled ISIS on this rotor. Also, you can look at here in the rotor ISIS of the rotor one, we configured net address, IS type, log adjacency all enabled, metric style wild, and also the traffic engineering commands. Here we don't have any change. Let me to configure the rotor two. In rotor two, again, we configure the MPLS traffic engineering tunnels option and also MPLS label range. Here we have two interface, ETH00, 